Johannes, uh, congratulations. 2020, one of the fastest ski times. Can you get any better than this? Uh, no, uh, I could be could have the fastest ski time, but uh, it's fantastic race from the start to the finish. Uh, I think the routine from a lot of good racing here from before. Uh, I know the key moments where to save power, where to be focused, and yeah, I'm not like 20 of 20 shooter. I'm more like 18, 19 on a good day, but to be 20 it doesn't happen too often, so I'm enjoying the moment. Since you talked about uh, you knew these spots, can we know a little bit of that, or is it a secret? I can't say it, uh, but I'll. Uh, I let uh, let you know in some years when I quit. But for now, I need to save every everything I can. Speaking of this 2020, uh, how special is it to get it? Your coach was really pumped about it. I can tell you, we saw the reaction, and it really meant a lot for him as well. Yeah, he uh, he is as much as uh, we are into this, and we if we ski fast, Egil uh, gets like quality message from people around. He has birthday today as well. Uh, and uh, it's the same for Siegfried. Uh, when we shoot clean in a sprint or relay or, or win like today with 20 of 20, he, he feels that his hard work is worth it. So we feel proud uh, and he is also proud of us and proud of himself because he does a really good job for us. How important is it also for the yellow bib you're wearing to get back into the winning routine? Yeah, looking after the result now. If I would have missed four mistakes today, then Tari would have win the race and uh, maybe be in yellow. So uh, it's a big fight and it's so much fun to have it with the brother. Um, it, uh, yeah, I hope just uh, that I will win it because if not, it will be the hell of the rest of my life. Uh, he will uh, talk about it every time. <laughs> I'm, I will be more kind and not speak so much about it. <laughs> just uh, one thing, I don't know if you know, but uh, since we're in Italy, you're very much known from the Italian fans as uh, Giovannino. Giovannino. Okay, yeah, but that's a good name. I haven't had uh, too many of them, so I'll take that. I, uh, I, will, uh, I will think about this for the next years. <laughs> Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Tadej, congratulations. Another podium is uh, probably one of the best seasons you've had in a long while, uh, very constant at the top. Yet, I guess, not so happy to be second behind you, brother. <laughs> uh, today, I'm quite happy with my second place because I felt I won the I won the race against the humans today. He was my brother was in his own league. Uh, yeah, I uh, had to shoot uh, clean, and then I would be some seconds behind him. So of course it was a good skiing performance, but he was the only guy who made 20. And uh, yeah, he's really good here in Alpes. We know that from before. So uh, I'm just happy I won the race against the others. You also have uh, quite a good record here, uh, maybe missing the victory, but uh, quite a lot of podiums, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yet, uh, as you said, you've been the best of the humans today. What was your approach to the altitude, the slow tracks and the difficult range? Because with the altitude, it looks easy for most, but we know it's not. Yeah, that, that's true. You know, uh, I made a plan yesterday how to solve the race. And when I woke up, I saw it had came a lot of snow, so then I had just to change my plan. Uh, so you had to, to not go as hard as you could in the start to, to, to get more into the race and not burn all your power because it was really slow, really tough. And also I, was, I felt that skiing was draining my energy for the shooting. So I went quite slow into the range uh, so it wouldn't affect my shooting too much. So I don't know if it was the key, but when I see the list, it was a lot of bad shooting and even with two mistakes. Normally, that's not enough uh, for the podium, but today it was tough for everyone and then then two was was good enough. Uh, lots of people try to maybe slow down their routine a little bit here because of the altitude, uh, yet you had quite fast standing shootings, especially given it's an individual. So was your approach not to change the routine here? Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's true. My, my plan was to lose the seconds in, into the shooting so I can 
have a low pulse and good legs and, and do a normal fast shooting understanding uh, and not get get the doubts you know the doubts can come when you are tired and you want to hit so I've had some individuals before that have tried to shoot slower in the end and it haven't sorted out quite well so my only goal was to <coughs> go and attack and uh, even if I missed it turned out to not be a double mistakes and yeah it was, it was quite good in total. Still, the fight uh, for the big globe is, is on with your brother. Do you think so? Or <laughs> you started to be a bit scared, as you said, today was another league? Yeah, I've, I've, to be honest, I've, I've, I'm, it's a little change in time. You know, he's been so dominating for, for years now. So none of us feel we are, <laughs> we are fighting with him, even if we look at the points and we, we see we are. My feeling is not. So it's a quite okay feeling. I don't feel so much pressure. I feel. I feel he's the best biathlete out there. Uh, I feel it's possible, but that all eyes is on him, and this is more like a more like a cool situation to be in and uh, to be right behind. And suddenly it can change, you know. So now the season has been quite long so far. So now it's not luck anymore. I guess I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. So uh, yeah, it's cool and uh, it's fun with my brother, you know. He's the favorite, he's the best guy, but in biathlon, things change so fast. So we all have to stay healthy and to keep up our good shooting. And uh, if some of us doesn't, we will get punishment on the, on the ranking. You also said that if you win the overall, you will tell him for the rest of his life. So I guess he has <laughs> extra pressure. <laughs> I'm not sure. He, his career is, is quite much bigger and uh, stronger than me. but. Uh, I'm lucky I won it uh, in 2011, so I don't have any things I haven't managed yet. So, yeah, both of us are quite quite happy with the situation, I guess. And uh, it's not only about the yellow jersey, it's all about the world champs also now coming up. So, of course, there is no points. Uh, so that's another competition, but a world champion title is, is also uh, really high up on our uh, goal list. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Johannes, uh, congratulations. Back in the podium in the World Cup after a little while. How does it feel? Oh, thank you. It feels uh, really good. I think it's, like you said, it's been a while, but it uh, makes it even nicer. How is it uh, out there with uh, a new, kind of a new format in a way? Uh, maybe a bit different? Actually, it's not so different. Like I think we did it some years ago in Canmore and when you're a junior, it's always 15k, so it's not so different. Different, um, but today was hard. Like the track conditions were not that easy, and uh, altitude here also hits in quite hard. Yet uh, you had a very good uh, first free shooting uh, with the shaky legs in the last one. Yeah, not at the beginning of the shooting, but at the end. Yes, it was uh, really tough and uh, the last shot was really, really bad. <laughs> Yet the podium, uh, so I guess uh, you can be very satisfied. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, If you're on a podium, it doesn't matter what you did. Uh, but I think with two today, it, you were quite good because it was not so easy either on the track, not at the shooting range. So, yeah, I'm happy. You should be. Congratulations. Thank you.